what did we do right with the ozone issue? Ozone was like this world-ending issue many years ago. Yeah. Really, it's very it's clear. Not a, I mean, yeah. it's a very simple story, but a very clear story. It does not have the lessons for climate change. So that is something we need to start and understand very okay. clearly. And we need to understand what, oh, really? what has happened with ozone actually not only does not work for climate change, but we have may have exactly, as Navroza is saying, we may have derailed yeah. the climate change action because of the action. So what happened in ozone? We had a chemical made by a multinational, which was destroying the world's ozone layer. Ozone layer. Hmm. Okay? That same multinational came up with an alternative, which only made sure that the ozone layer was less destroyed. Hmm. Okay? But there was an alternative technology available from the same multinational, mm. okay? And many more such companies that came on, DuPont and many others that came up. Now, the global consensus around it was, we need to do something because the ozone layer is uh, being damaged, we need to repair it. For that, we need to phase out this technology. And to phase out this technology, we need to phase in the new technology, which now is being held also on proprietary grounds by this same company, which made the first technology. So what was the deal? The deal was that money would be put in to buy the technology, which was in proprietary hands, public money would be used, and that technology would then be given to countries which had a 10-year lead time, to catch up. So you took public money, you had a problem that was created by a company, that company was net, not held to account. Which that, companies? DuPont. DuPont. Okay? They were not held to, ICICI and DuPont. Uh, they were not held to account. They were not told that they had damaged the ozone layer, polluter pay should uh, operate, they should be asked to pay for it. In fact, the global agreement was that now that you have found the new technology, we will buy that from you and replace your old technology with it. Okay, And we have gone through four variations of this now by the time we have reached today. HFC 134A, which now HF4s are coming What in. is HF4? Uh, Each one of them are new chemicals, which so are basically… So you start with chlorofluoro, oh, wow. chlorofluorocarbons were well, the original ones, then you had… CFCs, then HFCs, HFCs hydrofluoro then hydrofluoro… So uh, each one has been a substitute to the other. Companies have made profit, laughing themselves to the bank. It's also a the, twist. The, uh, the public sector has paid for those technologies. Countries like us have been told that if we… And the, the, the operative mechanism was that either you join, we give you 10 years to join, and if you don't join, then we will put trade measures on you. So essentially, there was a deterrence to say, let's put a trade measure, we won't trade with you. So now you make your air conditioners using the old technology, we won't buy that from you. So it was a, it was a clean deal. Everybody went laughing to the bank. Yes, the ozone layer has repaired itself to a large extent, but... The technology, the chemical which has come after all these variations is now being understood to have major impact on climate change. So we the, started off at CFCs, oh wow. we're at HFOs. GWP potential is very high. Is very high. Now, what is, GWP? What is that? Global warming, Global warming potential. potential. No, no, so it's very bad guys. for climate change. These Global guys warming. love technical work. <laughs> it's bad for climate okay. change. Okay. The problem Worse I than have any of the other gases. The yeah. problem I have is that this ozone story became because it was a Western built companies loved it. It's sort of, you know, everybody has gone laughing to the bank kind of story. It started getting applied to climate change. So we were told we'll get 10 years more to do the reductions. Obviously not possible at the differences of the emissions from there and the emissions we needed to increase. But more than that, what we have done is to basically uh, not work the reverse. I mean, to me, the ozone story was one where the rich producers, the rich consumers, used a stick on the poor consumers, producers, and said, if you don't do this, we will beat you on the head. The point that I have is, on climate change, where is the reverse? Okay, the, we can't use trade. 
we can't use any of the levers to basically demand action for them to reduce their emissions. So ozone is not a story that okay. needs very to be very understood interesting story. I didn't know this from it's a I, climate lens. I mean, just as a just to add to that, as a, at a fundamental level, this is about essentially a niche chemical. Hmm. Made by a very small number. I didn't realize it industries. was made by one company. It was two, just three. a two, uh, just At a few. At that time, two. Uh -huh. DuPont and ICICI. So, and and now under, more have come up. Indians have under license know, to others and so on. So with the difference here is it's not just carbon dioxide, but substantially carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide and fossil fuel burning is the core of the industrial revolution and human development. Human hmm. development has co-evolved with fossil fuels. It's baked into everything we do, all around us, all the time. Cement, lights, transport, wherever else it is. So the nature and the scope of the change is just so much, so it much larger. Level itself. That in fact, and I think this is where the shift in mindset is important with climate change. Yes, it is a global collective action problem in the, in the sense that, you know, we have to, you can free ride and you can choose not to act and, and, and wait for somebody else to act and so on and so forth. But I think the way we are thinking about it more and more is can you shift your economies in ways that make sense for your economy and have the effect of solving climate change? Can I, can I lead right? this? That shift, can that I was not possible with ozone. One interesting fact, which I think is a little different from ozone, climate and all, is about, so in Hindu religion, it's very interesting. The God of destruction, Shiva, is more important than the God of creation. Mm. Okay? Mm. Now, if you, if you look at it, which are the products that are creating problem in our world? Mm. So we started off with the biggest environmental problem that we've had, much before climate change, was DDT. Okay? DDT was a pesticide. Mm. Why was it a problem? Because it did not destruct. Hmm. In fact, when it was discovered, DDT, the person got a Nobel Prize for it because it was the un, it was a it was a pesticide, a chemical that could not be was not destructible. Okay, hmm. then came CFC yeah. again, got a Nobel Prize. Why? Because it could not be destroyed. It was stable. It was stable okay, plastic today. Correct. Okay, can't be. That's can't be destroyed. Right. So actually, our biggest problem is coming from the fact that we as human beings are still rewarding mm. um, something that nature actually tells us should not be rewarded. Nature says that it should be destroyed. Okay, it should go back to earth. And yet we are the arrogance of man because I don't think any of the women were involved in <laughs> any of these products that were designed, okay, was to make products which are not destructible. And I think that's really the fundamental problem that we have today with, uh, with the environment. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.